Okay, hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today in this video, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys a little bit of the current character that I'm running. It is going to be an animate weapon Wickerman build and I'll give you guys some updates because I currently cannot get Wickerman because this is only a level 54 character. I know it's a bit hard to see. So I just want to go over some of the basic things because we're pretty much just using one thing to level this character. I'm using a six link bow that I crafted which you can actually create for under 50 chaos. And it will be your endgame weapon, at least as far as I know. There's a bunch of other things you can do to this. You can get plus one gems. But this is just the baseline, very basic. So all you really need to get this character started, if you want to level it, because I'm still testing it, is you just need an essence of insanity. And an essence of insanity, if you look at your weapon, casts level 20 spectral spirits when equipped. So it kind of acts like a whispering ice. So the socketed gems that are inside your weapon will apply to your summon raging spirits. Now, what I plan on doing is using Animate Weapon with these current colors, but things are going to be changed. Don't take everything, like, too seriously. You know, I'm going to be changing a bunch of stuff. But currently what I'm using for the SRS because of the links at the moment is Minion Damage, Melee Splash, uh, Ruthless, Elemental Damage with Attacks, Elemental Focus, and Faster casting, or uh, faster Attacks. So, on top of that, I've also got Generosity Wrath. Disciplined because we're going to be CI and clarity. You can see my life or my current tree It should be very similar to pretty much how all summoners are played uh, for the most part and uh, I mean the pathing doesn't really matter that much. You can see everything. There is no actual order But when you hit level 50 you then will gain the ability to use the weapon that you crafted Now I don't actually think you need to even link it I'm pretty sure you can just have a six socket bow and that is all that you need Remember that these are very easy to chrome because it is on a short bow which requires almost no like actual uh, dex requirements. So getting five off colors you could get within should be like 10 to 15 chaos in chromes. So these are the three little guys that you can kind of see that come out and they're pretty pissed off. So I want to go ahead and show you how this works right now with them. So if I tell them to attack this bear you'll see they'll just destroy it. Now the reason why these guys are so strong is they're level 20 minions in like, you know, I'm level 54, so basically in a 50 zone, so they're like crazy over leveled. And because of that, they allow you to just destroy everything. Now, my animate weapon is gonna cost like 100 or 200 plus mana, and I don't have the mana to sustain that right now, um, because it's gonna be on a spell totem, so that's a huge multiplier. So I thought to myself, is there any way I can like level this character without having to, you know, basically shoot myself or level, you know, with SRS because I didn't want to use SRS and then I have to deal with mana cost and etc. So by doing this, I can simply focus on my curse on hit setup, right? And on top of the curse on hit setup, I can do flesh offering and everything else I need. And I don't have to worry about spam casting over and over and over, which I, excuse me, oh thanks tutorial, which I actually really enjoy because this playstyle is very smooth for me. Uh, normally I kind of dread leveling summoners because I don't like leveling every single build the exact same way. Um, so I'm actually really enjoying this. And by the time we hit level, I don't know, 75 or so, we should be able to get our animate weapon going and we should be good to go. Now, despite these guys looking like they're cold, I don't actually think they do cold damage because I've never seen them, I have never seen them ever like, uh, like chill anything or freeze anything. So that's kind of one interesting thing. I don't know exactly what their damage type is, but they also have a charge. Like if you just saw that guy just charge from off screen. Um, so that's pretty fucking cool. Their single target damage is very good as well. Let's see if... Where did, I don't even know where he came from. I think he poured it on me. Anyway, I just kind of wanted to give you guys some updates with the character. I'll post another video probably tomorrow. We should be like 75 plus then easily. Um, and by that point, we should have the Wickerman going as well. So anyway, just to go over my links one more time for you guys. Uh, I'm currently playing this as a Necromancer. We killed all the bandits. I've got Mistress of Sacrifice and Commander of Darkness. This gives you the cast speed and attack uh, cast speed for your uh, cast speed for summoning animate weapon. Also gives you cast speed for your desecrate and flesh offering. Skill effect duration is going to be good for Vol discipline uh, and just in general for your uh, animate weapon and your uh, Vol skills and everything else. Commander of Darkness is good because it's basically like how Necromancer works. For every aura you have on, they get increased attack and cast speed, and just in general, they get 30% increased damage, and it helps you and your minions resistance capping. And then I'm probably going to go into Soul Weaver when we get the Wickerman going, uh, but that's still something we need to test out. So I started, basically, I went up like this, Lord of the Dead, 
Uh, came across here, grabbed the life, came down, went over, got the skill effect duration, and then you pretty much just put in aura nodes as you'd like. Minion damage, melee splash, ruthless, elemental damage with attacks, elemental focus, faster attacks. Feel free to do whatever you want with your links. I don't play SRS, so I don't know the priority for them. I'm just using a gold rim, a wall of brambles, uh, Karui ward, basic rings, a really shit quiver, uh, Assonance gloves, so I don't have to worry about a four link curse on hit. Um, but we will be doing curse on hit, vulnerability, sorry, elemental weakness, and temporal chains. Um, Belt the Deceiver, that I clearly need the strength for, and just some Wanderlust. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember, if you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys have a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.